Hey, what's up friends? Shooting a video for you guys. I'm going to talk a little bit about the subconscious mind, about a part of the subconscious mind. For any of you who've read Psycho-Cybernetics, you're going to know what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, watch this video. It'll shed some light onto why or why not you have achieved or haven't achieved goals or dreams in your life. Okay, now this is about the subconscious mind and more specifically about the automatic success mechanism, the ASM, which is essentially a servo mechanism in your brain. A servo mechanism is the same mechanism on a guided rocket which helps it achieve its goal or target. So, like a rocket, it adjusts course along the way. Even when scientists launch a space shuttle, when they're launching to the moon, they're off every time by a few degrees and they do it just course as they go. So these next five fundamental rules that I'm going to speak about are, they're from Psycho-Cybernetics. I've read the book several times. I love it. So I want to share this knowledge with you because this really sheds a lot of light onto how your brain works and how you can achieve goals. It kind of helps you relax a little bit too. So the first rule of accomplishing a goal is aim. The automatic success mechanism it must have a goal or a target that's conceived of as an already in existence now, right now, either in potential form or an actual form. And it operates by either steering you towards something already in existence or by discovering something already in existence. So your goal that you have is got to be something that's real or that could potentially be real. A better body, a bigger bank account, a happier mindset. Now two, you got to trust it because it's teleological. That is, it's oriented to or operates on end results or goals. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes, but you can't be afraid if the means don't seem apparent right now if you don't know how it's going to be accomplished. Because it's the function of the um, automatic success mechanism to supply the means when you supply the goal. So basically, you think in the term of the end results, or the goal, and the means will often take care of themselves. The well, third part is to relax and not be afraid or discouraged by temporary failures, setbacks, holdbacks, because all servo mechanisms operate on negative feedback or by moving forward making mistakes then immediately correcting course back towards the goal or target now automatic course correction is one of the good benefits of psycho cybernetics or your ASM so this means if you make a mistake you fail it's normal that's how you succeed and without moving towards your goal and making those mistakes then your subconscious mind or your servo mechanism in your brain, it doesn't know how to achieve the goal. So it's got to make those mistakes in order to grow, in order to develop. Now the fourth part is skills. A lot of people, they say they're not going to try something because they don't have the skill to do it. Well, here's the thing about skills, that all skills are learned by trial and error. Or by making a motion, movement, or performance, and then mentally adjusting your aim to achieve the successful response, to get the goal. And you do this over and over again. And then further skill learning is accomplished by remembering the successful responses and letting go of the failures. So this means you've got to let go of the past. Let go of the spots where you messed up, the setbacks, the holdbacks, the failures. And remember the times where you succeeded and then keep doing those. Success leaves clues. And you keep doing successful actions over and over again, your entire life will be a success. Okay. Now the fifth part is to do. You have to act, right? And you have to trust your servo mechanism to do its work. You can't jam it by becoming too concerned or too anxious as to whether or not your actions are going to work or not. Or by attempting to control it through too much conscious effort, by thinking about it too much. You gotta let it work rather than make it work. Because it acts beneath the level of consciousness. And it acts
acts in accordance to the present needs. Therefore, you have no idea or no guarantee as to whether it will work or not. But, you must not wait until you have proof that your actions are going to work. You have to start acting now as if they're there and they will come true. As Emerson said, you got to do the thing and you will have the power. Now, this means, this is where a lot of people get procrastination sets in because they get stuck or paralyzed as to whether or not their actions are going to be successful. But you have no guarantees. You have to have faith. And you have to simply act. And you have to adjust along the way and know that the failures are part of it. And that the results will come. As the Buddhist said, let go of the fruits and focus on the actions. You focus on the actions, the fruits will come of their own accord. This means that the fruit of your labor is going to come in time. It just will. It simply will. As long as you take action. And take massive action. Because your results are going to be in direct accordance to the amount of action that you take and the value that you deliver and provide to your audience, to your clients, to your customers. So, I really hope that this helped you guys a little bit to understand the way the subconscious mind works and to know that it really comes down to you thinking about what you need to do less and about what you want more. To focus more on your goals and dreams on the end results of what you want and to just let your subconscious mind take over because it's more powerful than you could ever imagine or I could ever imagine or realize we're just starting to tap into it and more than 90% of our mental world is subconscious less than 10% is actually conscious thought so the more that we rely on our subconscious mind to guide us through life to dictate us where we're headed the better results we'll get as long as we have clear goals or targets. And when people are failing, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with anybody who fails. And especially if it's a failure over and over again. What's happening is that the automatic success mechanism, mechanism or the subconscious mind is getting the wrong goals, the wrong marching instructions. So it's essentially become an automatic failure mechanism. So when this is the case, then the first thing that needs to be done is you need to reprogram the subconscious mind with the correct marching instructions and that's done through visualizations, through affirmations, through incantations and through proper, proper goal setting. So I want to encourage all of you guys to pick up Psycho-Cybernetics. I want to encourage you to get clear on what you want in life and I want to encourage you to not be discouraged if you fail. Not be discouraged if there's rejection or criticism because that means you're doing something right and to keep moving forward. So I believe in you guys and connect with me, message me if you want to know more about how you can work with your subconscious mind and get the results that you want out of life. Take care guys and I believe in you.